What's up, guys? Welcome to MuseThemes.com. This is Ashton Bingham. I have another quick tip video for you today, this time providing some quick troubleshooting tips for an issue that many of our users have come across at one point or another. Here I have a simple blank page in Muse, and I've placed the background video component of our show video widget on the page. Now inside the widget, I have my files loaded in, and I'm just going to give this a browser preview. And lo and behold, our video is not functioning. Right now, we're looking at a still image or poster image, which is just an abstract stock video from our platform theme. But oftentimes, you may not see anything at all. Now, why is this happening? There are many aspects to be aware of when using video files on websites, especially when they're doing any kind of autoplay function, like in this case. If your video isn't functioning, it's not necessarily an issue with the widget or even with your site but possibly instead another culprit that we're going to explore right now. Let's jump back into Muse. Step 1. Make sure you're using the most updated version of the widget at all times. Here we can expand the settings panel and we can see we're using version 1.3 of Show, which at the time of this recording is the most updated version. Now if you're unsure, simply log into your Muse Themes account and download the Show widget, and then check your Downloads folder. If you're looking at a widget file with a version number more recent than the one you're using, then you need to replace that on your page. Step 2. Exclusive to our Show video widget, take a look inside your Toolset widget component and make sure that you've enabled background video. That often gets overlooked, so just take an extra glance for safety. Step 3. Let's open our video loader. And we'll look in the local video section where we've loaded our files. And you need to make absolutely sure that you've included all three of the requested files. Now, even if you're only intending for an MP4 to be used, you need to include the WebM and poster image as well. That's the way that the widget is set up to maintain functionality on all browsers. Now, if you're wondering where to get a WebM file, it's very easy to do with a simple Google search of a WebM converter. You can just load your MP4 in there, and it'll spit out a matching WebM for you. It's that simple. Most converters are free if the MP4 is under a certain file size limit. Which brings me to step 4. Check the file sizes of all three of these files. Now I'm going to open up my Finder window where the files are located. And we'll take a look at the sizes of each. File size really, really matters with any site media, but especially autoplaying video. If your video is long or rendered at a high bit rate, you're likely going to be seeing a file size of over 20 megabytes, which is really big for background video. Right now, we're right in our sweet spot. Both the MP4 and WebM are under 10 megabytes each, and our JPEG is under 1 megabyte. So if you're finding that your files are much larger than this, I'd strongly recommend re-encoding your video at a lower bit rate, and or finding ways to trim it down. Step 5. In many cases, you may be attempting a browser preview from a theme from our website. And if you're using the default video that's set up, then the files are definitely sitting in a different folder than where Muse thinks they're sitting. So just as good practice, open the settings panel and give each file a reload, like so. Now, even if it doesn't visibly change anything, you could still be helping Muse to relocate those assets and prevent them from being left behind on site upload. Step 6. We're going to give this page a publish, not a browser preview, and absolutely not a Muse preview. Video widgets are a bit unique in this way, and a bit fickle when it comes to browser previews, especially in Safari. Now, in some cases, your browser preview might leave your video without function, even though you've done absolutely nothing wrong with the setup. So to verify everything is ship shape, we're going to do a page publish, which I can do for free from the file menu by selecting Publish to Business Catalyst. I'll just type a simple site name for now, and we'll click OK. And Business Catalyst will publish your site to a free temporary published domain. Now from there, we can view the link in a browser, and voila, we have a functioning background video. So thanks for tuning in for another quick tip. I do hope this is helpful. And of course, if you're still running into functionality issues, don't hesitate to reach out to us in support, and we'd be more than happy to take a closer look. Cheers.